Good morning. Uh, two huge stories for you. You can see five planets now before dawn, and also there may be a ninth major planet in our solar system. First, beginning around now and lasting until about mid-February, you can see five planets at once in the pre-dawn sky. They are Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. It's the first time we've been able to see all five of these planets at once since 2005, 10 years ago. But when you look outside before dawn, how do you know which ones are the planets? First, remember that these planets orbit in a flat plane around the sun, so they follow the path of the sun across our sky. And that means that no matter where you are on Earth, you can think about the path of the sun in your sky and look along that path to find these planets. Also, these are the bright planets. Jupiter and Venus are especially bright. So Jupiter is the brightest thing highest in the sky before dawn. And Venus is the brightest thing in the east before dawn. Mercury is below Venus in the east. It's the one that's just now coming into view. And you might want to even wait uh, another few days to catch Mercury. But again, it'll be visible till mid-February. So uh, Saturn and Mars are the other two planets, and they're the toughest ones to find because there are some bright stars that are uh, kind of up there too, nearly the same brightness. So come to earthsky.org. We've got charts and other information that can help you find these planets. And remember, when you see these planets strung out in a graceful arc across the pre-dawn sky, that you're looking into the plane of our solar system. And also, don't forget to look at your feet, because then you'll be seeing six planets. The other big news this week is that uh, there's uh, possibly a ninth major planet uh, located on the fringes of our solar system. And if it exists, it's 5,000 times more massive than Pluto. So astronomers did not announce this week that they'd discovered a ninth planet. What they did announce were the results of a new theoretical study indicating that a ninth planet, sometimes called Planet X, might exist. Here are the two astronomers who did the work to tell you about it. What we have discovered is that numerous features of the Kuiper Belt, a field of icy debris beyond the orbit of Neptune, can be understood if the solar system possesses an additional ninth planet that resides well beyond the orbits of the known planets. When we looked at the outer solar system, we, we realized that while most of the, the very distant objects, these objects beyond Neptune, beyond Pluto, most of these objects, they, they all go around the sun and they're all sort of pointing off in all different directions, but the most distant objects all swing out in one direction in, in, in a very strange way that shouldn't happen. And we realized that the only way we could get them to all swing in one direction is if there is a massive planet also very distant in the solar system, keeping them in place while they all go around the sun. And we started looking at this and thinking, this, this, is, this must be either a coincidence or it's uh, caused by something else. It can't be caused by a planet because that's crazy. There are no planets out there. I went from trying very hard to be skeptical that what we were talking about was true to suddenly thinking, oh, this actually might even be true. If it exists, the ninth planet has 10 times the mass of Earth and takes up to 20,000 years to orbit the sun once. These two astronomers said they hope others will use their work to look for the ninth planet. That's all for today. Talk to you Monday, and remember to look outside before dawn.